you know what? Things aren't actually looking too bad for you so far. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to say you might not end up scoring too low. Almost. I handle all the bad people, remember? So, what have we learned? A police officer, a single father... What happened to, uh, what's her name? Anna? I wonder. Well, it's not really in my jurisdiction to know about that. We're here to focus on you, my friend, and as much as I hate to say it, there hasn't really been anything I could justify docking your points for yet. Plus, you do really seem to care about that kid. I think I need to learn a little bit more about you, who you really are, where your mind's at. Step into the next room. I, I want to test something. You see, I don't think I know enough about you, yet. I want to learn who you are, get inside of your head. So here's your job. There are two philosophers who have interesting theories about morality and ethics. They're the two guys you're looking at now, Immanuel Kant and Jeremy Bentham. They each came up with their own idea of what a good action is. Kant proposed the idea of the ontological ethics. By his model, all actions are inherently good or bad, regardless of their consequences. Now let's use the trolley dilemma as an example. A trolley is going to run over five people who are tied to the tracks. If you change the direction of the trolley, it would only hit one person. Kant would argue that you don't change the trolley's direction. Sure, five people will die, but you didn't have any direct input on it. If you change the trolley's direction, that one death was caused by you. You committed an immoral action regardless of the outcome. Jeremy Bentham, on the other hand, would disagree. Bentham proposed the idea of utilitarianism. By his ideology, the right or moral decision is the one that results in the most good. The outcome is more important than the action itself. He would say that you steer the trolley to hit the one man. Sure, you were directly involved in his death, but more people survive than would have otherwise. All you need to do is tell me who you agree with, Kant's deontological method or Bentham's method of utilitarianism. Where do your morals lie? Personally, I'm just curious who tied everyone to the tracks. There are much more efficient ways to kill people if that was your goal. Anyways, push the button in front of the portrait of who you agree with most. After that, head out into the hallway. Your next trial will be waiting for you. All right, time to get some work done. I should check and see if I have any reports to take care of today. Look like I'm assigned to anything at the moment. I should go down to evidence and check on that forest case. Hey, what are you doing here? Who let you in? Oh, uh, hi, Matt. I was just checking back on what we found on the forest case. You know you're not supposed to be here, right? Plus, how'd you get in without a key? Oh, I'm sorry. 
I just told security I was working with you and they let me in. There wasn't a ton of fuss about it. Yeah, security has fallen behind a bit. It's these damn paycheck cuts. It's okay, you can hang out in here if you want. I was actually here for the same reason. Oh, well, I laid out the photos back in the corner. I assume that's your desk? Oh, yeah, thanks. I'll check it out. And, hey, don't mess with anything else in here, okay? Wouldn't dream of it. Yeah, I still think my theory stands. Gunman was the one dead in the cave. He died from a stab wound inflicted by our initial victim. All just a drug deal gone bad. Ugh, I still feel awful for them. Don't. They got themselves in that position. I... I guess. Good. You can't let that stuff get to you. I'm gonna head upstairs. You should probably get out of here before somebody says something. Okay, yeah. I'll be out in just a bit. Huh? Oh shit, not now. Wasn't supposed to call me yet. I need to take this somewhere private. you not to call me at work. I gave you my schedule Oh, and you think you have the authority to tell me when to call? I don't give a shit where you are. If I call you, you pick up the goddamn phone. What do you need? See? That's more like it. What I need is what we discussed. You still need the money, right? Yeah, I just... I don't like it. Well, tough shit. Think about it like this. After a few jobs, we cut our ties and you leave with just enough cash to make all your problems just go away. Listen here, I know all about the government job pay cuts, and I know without this money, you'll- Where is it? William and Son's bar. My boys will have been in and out. Be in the case. And hey, remember, you're doing this for the kid. <sighs> William and Son's. Okay. I need to get back to work. This never happened. Now this is what I was expecting. You're a bit sketchier than you let on. This'll be entertaining. Taking suspicious jobs, working for the seedy underbelly of your society. You're just a basic crooked cop. You know, I hate to say it, but I was almost rooting for you. I thought you may be the one good person I had. Oh well. Also, Bentham was an interesting choice. I mean, that's what most people would say, but in practice... Anyways, you've got more trials, and I've got more life to judge. Let's get a move on. So, what's the damage? Armed robbery. According to the statement from the bartender, three men in masks came in and ransacked the place. Took everything they could. Cash register was completely emptied, so was the safe. Do you have anything to go off of? Well, the barman said he shot one of the men in the leg, but no one was killed. They all got away. That's not much. Hey, did you bring that UV light with you? Oh, yeah, I got it right here. Good thinking. Hey, I, I was thinking maybe I could help you. No, no, you'd better just stay back. I can get all this sorted out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll just, uh, be right here. All right. 
Let's get this over with. Looks like your guys dropped something, Charlie. You really need to get some better goons. God, could these guys have at least made an attempt to be clean? This must be where the guy got shot. Shit, I'm gonna need to get this cleaned up. Fingerprints. I'll need something to clean these up with. Fingerprints. I'll need something to clean these up with. Damn it! Why did the bar owner lock up? I need to get this door unlocked. He knew we were coming. He had to have left a key around here somewhere. Fingerprints. I'll need something to clean these up with. Fingerprints. I'll need something to clean these up with. Hey, how are you doing? Okay. I still think I could help out if you need- No, it's alright. I think I'd better just handle this one. Alright. Well, I'll let you get back to it. Handgun. PM40 model. This must have been the bartenders. I don't think I need to bother with it. Hmm. This could be useful. Ugh, I'm gonna need more than just a towel for this.
clean as a whistle. Ugh, Charlie, next time have your guys wear gloves or something. Hey, how are you doing? Okay. I still think I could help out if you no, need- No, it's alright. I think I'd better just handle this one. Alright. Well, I'll let you get back to it. Ugh, I'm gonna need more than just a towel for this. that. All right. I think that's everything. I should talk to Evelyn. All right. I think we're done here. Did you find anything worthwhile? Uh, no, actually. What? How is that even possible? Uh, I don't know. I just... I couldn't find anything. That... that can't be right. Let me take a look. No, it's fine. I looked everywhere I could, and there was nothing. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's get back to the cruiser. I'll take you home before I head back to the precinct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No one's here. Good. Good.